Glenn with the Chartered Institute of Environmental Health. I've been in this game 20 years now. The nice guidance, well, it's nice as far as it goes. Here in London, we're obviously concerned the most about prices of matter and nitrogen dioxide. From the mayor's perspective, obviously we've got a new mayor this year and he's really taken air quality and catapulted it into the political agenda, which um, as the air quality team obviously really thankful for and um, hopefully you are too. So I think getting information out there is, a, is the first thing to do. And the next thing is to understand diesel emissions, as I said in my presentation. It's about the impact they're having in the real world compared to the laboratory and the options that people have to perhaps start to phase out the use of uh, diesel. The biggest threat to air quality currently is probably diesel cars. Um, there's a lot of uh, threats to air quality and petrol cars shouldn't be forgotten. We need to go the whole hog. We don't just want to jump back backwards from petrol to diesel. We want to go forwards to hybrids and electric cars. With a problem this scale, these are not localised hotspots. They can only sensibly be portrayed as local manifestations of the national problem. And this is one of the things that the NICE guidelines just patently fails to accept and tackle. Government needs to make a serious effort to get under control the social and structural factors that lead to mo unrestricted mobility, particularly auto mobility. Could we be optimistic that in 10, 15 years' time, uh, that is highly electric. Um, I, I don't necessarily share the optimism that um, electric, without more push and policies in place that will get the, the switching vehicles we need. Just a brief show of hands, who has had a quick look at the guidance? Anyone? Once you start to unpack it, actually, if you want to make something good out of the guidance, then uh, there's an awful lot to it. They've described uh, quite nicely some of the local things that can be done. Um, what they haven't done is put that into context of about uh, relative uh, improvements if you did a national uh, intervention. We need both of those.